Hi there, Todd with BackflipBlogger.com and we're going to look at Pixlr which is a free photo editing service. It's online, there's no software to download. So it's Pixlr.com and you could open the photo editor here and it gives you four choices. Create a new image, open an image from a computer, open an image from a URL, or open an image from a library. So right now I'm going to create a new image and it gives you your size that you want, the width and height, and then there's presets. And what's great about this is you could do a banner, leaderboard, skyscraper. Um, if you're gonna if you're for your website, if you want to do a custom header uh, or a logo, this will allow you to do it or 640 by 480. It has Photoshop features and you can look over to the right under layers here and this is the background and it's locked. I'll double click to unlock it. Now I can add a, if you go to the photo bucket, now it's, it's a black right here. We could change the color to this background. So I'm going to add a new layer and what's great about this, you can work in layers. So I'm going to add a layer here, then if you click on the Shapes tool, you have Rectangle, Round Rectangle, Ellipse Tool, and a Line Tool. So here's a Round Rectangle, and you could adjust the Radius, or even have a Border and you could choose which color you want. So from here you could add additional layers. So if you want to do a ellipse tool, and maybe orange, and There we are. He gives a black border here. So these are just the different uh, you know tools you can use if you want to make some headers or mess with the logos. So from here, if you want to save it, it gives you different options. Obviously, you could you name what you want and JPEG, PNG, bitmap. So there's there's quite a few options. Or if you want to save something straight to Facebook. Flickr or Picasso, you can do that. Next, I'm going to pull up an image. So here I am. I, I pull up an image. I was taking some images, some photos for uh, my website, and I just wanted to use this as an example because I shot it behind a green screen so I could crop myself out so there's no background. So from here, you could just click on the background because it's locked right now and just make it a layer. So now we just made it a layer. So from here, we're going to counterclock. So now we switched it around. And it's a pretty big size. This is only 23% right here. So I'm going to click on the wand tool to the background. And you can see everything's high. It's, it's kind of highlighted. But I, I just want to remove it from the back, you know, so I can have a standalone picture. And just hit delete. So that's going to help you in removing a background. Now click edit, then deselect all. So now, now what, what happened is it's on a transparent background. So I can add a layer and let's see, I'm going to add a, I just want to make a white background for right now. so it's easier. And I could put this layer in the back. So now I come, you know, so now I'm behind it. Now I can see what I'm trying to edit here. So now click on myself, the layer you want to start editing again. So now I'll click on the eraser tool. And here are your presets. There's quite a bit of presets for the eraser tool. So I'm going to go big 
and clean up all this stuff here. So as you can see I'm cleaning up all the edges and if you want to get really detailed you can magnify say by 200 percent and come down on this the eraser and you get really get next to the edges of your image and really fine-tune it so so once you clean this all up you come back to here and either hide that layer and then you can export it or save it as a PNG transparent now it's going to remove that background and when you save it you could put it to, uh, your image on, on any kind of background you want so these are just some of the features here and this is great because it's online it's free and it's uh, it's perfect for doing um, you know little website projects or touching up photos so I hope this helped and visit backfootblogger.com and talk to you soon